Need the microphone? It's getting late. <laughs> and that's annoying because why is it whenever you get ready for bed you're more hyper? exceptional things about Richmond, right? Woo! And I, I guess the reason I got this gig, which I'm honored to do, is um, because of like forms of insincere flattery like that. Um, <laughs> so I also want to thank you, the, very accept the most exceptional audience in Richmond, for coming. So give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. You may be wondering, this guy, he's not famous, but I'm Richmond famous, so it's okay. <laughs> the thing is, um, most of you commoners out here, you're into PBR and blah, 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 blah. But, um, uh, it's okay, you know, but it's not my drink. Um, I prefer Miller High Life. Um, I mean, you know, I'm Richmond famous, and that is, it's like champagne. Or no, actually, yeah, let's not even use similes. It is, it is the champagne of beers. Uh, but speaking of champagne, um, 
My first show ever, I, before I started, I drank an entire bottle of champagne in five minutes because um, while on MySpace, this was a while ago, I've been doing this for four years and look where it got me. Um, I was visiting a cousin in Japan and this one girl I just met, we were MySpacing each other, whatever that means, and I was like, oh cool, this is great, she's amazing, just, you know, just amazing from top to bottom. I mean, personality-wise, too. <laughs> she had, like, really great legs and everything, and I, I'd never, like, talked to anyone who looked moderately attractive. Or, um, but anyway, I was, like, into legs, or still am, I can't help it. it the first thing I saw when I was born. But... <laughs> so then, um, I was like, oh, cool, I can't wait to get back to Richmond. She's gonna go to my first show ever. It was an Elvis tribute, and um, all of a sudden, um, she told me on MySpace that she's not going to go, and I was like, what, what, why not? But then, for some reason, my, my motherly intuition kicked in right before I performed, and I was like, oh my god, I know she's coming, I know she's coming. So she came, but before that, because I was so nervous, not only because she was coming, but it was an Elvis tribute. So um, I was like, oh, uh, Elvis, who is not dead, is going to be watching, and she's here. And so I had a whole bottle of champagne, and uh, when I'm drunk, I'm different than most other people because they don't remember what happens, but I drink so seldomly, is seldomly a word? I, I drink so seldomly that um, when I am drunk, I'm like, okay, you're not here often, take notes. So I remember everything, and unfortunately, it was just the worst show ever. But it was my first one. I even went like, don't be cruel to a heart that's cruel. Is that right? It was terrible. And I kept talking about her in front of everyone. And um, I was like, oh, you're with that guy. And she came with a guy and he was like really tall and handsome. And I always thought there was some conspiracy and all the tall people of the world basically own everything and they, they run your lives. Um, Anyway, so I, I, I wrote this song um, feeling so terrible about my situation and everyone who is of my height. Um, and it goes out to all the tall people in here. Um, who's tall? I don't have my glasses on. Tall. I'm the average height. You're average? Ugh, then what am I? <laughs> So um, this is named after the previous tall, tallest man in the world. Um, his name is Robert something, was Robert something, but he was replaced by some Chinese guy recently. And they're taking over everything. <laughs>
funny yesterday? He totally beat that man with a chainsaw. Paul Bunyan? Did I see him? More like, did I see anything else? Because he's so big, he's all I can see, no matter how far away he's standing from me. <laughs> Do you think Paul will ever see anything in me? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Will he ever see anything in any of us? Will he ever see us? Oh, Paul. Oh. 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 Hey, did you see his cool ox who was like totally blue and next to him and big and strong and had human hands? <laughs> you guys know who I think is really cute? Who's like my Paul Bunyan? Who? who? Tell us, tell us. Who? Tom Thumb. <laughs> he's just really sincere and sweet, and he's so talented. And he's romantic. Paul Bunyan just shows up, and he has like an axe. Big deal. <laughs> that's, that's okay. You know, you guys are doing the tight lips. Like, we're pretending it's okay when it's not. No, I know it's... Hey, guys. Um... Sorry, I don't mean to barge in. Uh, I was down by the river, and uh, I saw these flowers, and they reminded me of you, um, because uh, they're pretty, and they also enjoy water. So... Thank you, thank you, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to bust in. You all can... Uh, no, it's okay, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, just go through that hole in the wall. <laughs>
It is financially unrealistic. Was going to the moon the first time financially unrealistic? But you weren't supposed to win. <laughs> it was, was going to the moon like the four times after that financially unrealistic? Yes. Was the, was the first man in orbit financially unrealistic? It was a risk. Shepard? <laughs> Shepard is his name? What? The first guy who was in orbit, his name is Shepard, I just remember. <laughs>
What's gonna happen next? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah, that was me. See ya. <laughs> this message has been, brought, has been brought to you by the Church of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> hey, sorry I'm late. It's fine, that's fine. Nobody's no, it's waiting. not fine. I just I need to be more judicious about my time. I should have stopped at Starbucks. I'm sorry. Well, it's you're forgiven this time. Yeah, okay. Next time. Thanks, Father O'Reilly. Yeah. So, <laughs> just get on the chalkboard there. We're going over the Ten Commandments. Okay. Uh, number one. <laughs> thou, thou shalt not go to Starbucks. Not. Let's go to Starbucks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. uh, number two, thou shalt not have sex with your neighbor at Starbucks. That's good. Yeah. yeah. You got the back room there. Yeah. All right. Uh, number three. Uh, thou shalt not covet your neighbor's wife's espresso. <laughs> <laughs> Let me expand that. A macchiato. <laughs> macchiato. Throw in like a frappuccino in there too. Love those things. God's really into coffee, huh? He's big into coffee. I was talking to him yesterday. And he was like, man, I've got three Starbucks on every corner up here in heaven. And I was like, dude, that's heaven awesome. Has corners? Yeah. I always thought it would be like... It was like that actually before 1995, but uh, then God got the grants through, and actually these are the blueprints for heaven. Yeah, they really rebranded heaven. It's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah, see, more of a grid type thing here. There's a revolving door in heaven? Yeah. <gasps> There's a velvet rope in heaven? Yeah. What do you think of it? It's really nice, Lord. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I took a note after a Starbucks rebranding. You know, it's all about simplification. That's why there are only two commandments now. Wait a second, have God? Yes? Are these the plans from Studio 54? <laughs> they might be. <laughs> That's definitely Grace Jones and Drew Barrymore right there. I love Grace Jones. <laughs> Look, uh, where God gets his plans, really, it's not up to us to say that. We we don't question, we just go with it. Okay, all right. God's plan is infallible, as I've said before in my sermons. Yes, sir, Father O'Reilly, you're so fair and balanced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, two commandments, uh, Lord, Yes? We came up with the third one. Is that cool? What's that? We came, up, came up with the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. Did you say enunciate, God? That's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a word, if God sorry. says word, it's a word. All right. Sorry, God. I'll, I'll enunciate clear, God. God. God's like the Shakespeare of the universe. He just coins new words whenever he wants. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God is not like the Shakespeare of the universe. God is, is the, Shakespeare the Shakespeare of the universe. Yeah, let's just put that all similar. All similar. We came up with the third commandment about the coveting espressos and macchiatos and frappuccinos. Is that okay. cool or? Well, it's not really how I planned it. Hey God, how come pets don't live longer? What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Just keep looking out there, thinking I'm gonna see him. You know, I hear you. A right, day goes by that I don't think about it. Just you, you'd think that he, just over the horizon, you know, see this big head of hair just pop up. Guys, I'm right here. Just sometimes wish that they would just be right here, right here with us. Yeah. <laughs> just keep, just oh, I just wish I could smell just that. Just mm. fragrance, you know, just like, mm. I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like sandalwood it's and whiskey. It's cool water. It's cool water. Because oh. <laughs> they can't see you, my child. You passed off. <laughs> I'm your spirit guide. I'll make the transition from Earth to space. <laughs> <laughs> We've rebranded. 
No chá, caminho no chá. <laughs> she thinks she looks down on us, watches us. Well, I don't, I don't it. think so. She really admired us. No, I'm going to ask a lot of questions as if you all standing right here watching them. Wait, they really can't see me, spirit guy? No. Not at all. Not at all? You could do anything to them you wanted and they wouldn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest part. We don't have to be quiet when we do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. 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 quiet when you did it. I heard you every time you had sex. <laughs> Just bang the walls with our love. <laughs> <laughs> sound like there was some some hauntings going on <laughs> with my screaming. <laughs> Do you think she knows now that we accidentally killed her dog? <laughs> no, they don't let you find out bad stuff. Oh, good. I'm You're sorry, right. that's my bad. I'm still training. <laughs> I should have really shadowed another spirit guide on this one. Yeah, I can't believe they let you out on the floor. So I thought I was ready to take take it, but apparently um, not. Um, There's. She also will never know that we never bought that plane ticket. She'll just not, you know, she'll just never know. You guys are shitty parents. It could have saved her life. Yes, make your peace with them. Understand their grief. Save them from something looming over them and buy that fine closure. My ship is almost, I just, oh God. All right, so you let at least three negative statements about the deceased come out of the living. I can't control the living. None of us can. We wish we could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Am no. I fired? No, sweetheart. All right, it was fine. You're training. It was your first time. We thought it would be simple. Teenage daughter killed. We thought the parents would be a little bit more accepting. They got to say that. Hey, I got some more coffee for you. So, <laughs> great. Uh, thank you. Thank Thanks. You. Uh, awesome. Thank awesome. You. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to put you somebody else, a higher up in the shadow guides. We're going to shadow him. Spirit guide shadow. Excuse me. We're going to have a spirit guide shadow you. That's better. <laughs> Why do I, who do I get? Mm, that's one special. We have someone special lined up for you. Is it Whoopi? <laughs> Come on out, Whoopi! Oh, yeah. <laughs> 